June, a group of local leaders are joining forces with some transit advocates to call for more funding for the MTA without raising fares for commuters. The so-called Fix the MTA legislation also calls for more frequent train service and to make bus services free for all. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is live in the Wakefield section of the Bronx with more. Well, the MTA is facing a two and a half billion dollar deficit and just yesterday the agency warned that that could mean raising the fare to three dollars. But lawmakers say it's time for the MTA to stop relying so heavily on fare box revenue and other band-aid solutions and institute some changes. Yes, this would cost some money, but there are some specific requirements they say that would improve service. Now these lawmakers pushing for a package that would not only freeze the transit fare at 275, it would increase the frequency of subway as to six every six minutes. They argue that would uh, increase safety by not having people wait on platforms. It would benefit commuters who have complained of long wait times. The third major proposal would make bus fares free. Free service would start in the Bronx, the borough where residents are the most dependent on buses, and then be phased in the other boroughs over four years. Advocates say free bus service has been rolled out successfully in other cities. The fee was waived uh, bare, uh, briefly at the start of the pandemic, and even Westchester buses were free this past summer. So how do you pay for all this? Lawmakers say if approved, the MTA would be required to spend the money in a very specific way. We are not leaving it up to the MTA. We are saying 245 million a year to stop the fare hike. We're saying 788 million for the frequent service. We're saying 778 for the free buses. Everything has been proportioned out to the penny. And supporters say that represents just 1.5% of the state's proposed $227 billion budget. The budget deadline, by the way, is April 1st. We're